Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And this time, instead of showing you a brand new crazy combo, unfortunately, we're gonna have to talk about our ability to have and keep and make these in the future. And that is actually under attack right now. So right now there is a bill in front of Congress called the America Competes Act. And in it, it has an add-in basically from US Fish and Wildlife that's gonna change the way that animals are kept in America, how they're designated by US Fish and Wildlife. Just in a really, really short synopsis, US Fish and Wildlife right now, they have a program in the service called the Lacey Act. The Lacey Act works as basically a blacklist that allows, the, the, allows US Fish and Wildlife to designate certain animals as being injurious or problems in America that might cause major issues. And so there's a process by which they can add these animals to that list and they cannot be used for interstate travel or imported to the United States, etc. This legislation would change the way that rule is made. It would make the Lacey Act from a blacklist of certain animals you couldn't keep to a whitelist of only certain animals you can keep. So basically it makes it so that US Fish and Wildlife no longer has to prove that the animals are injurious to deny your ability to keep them, to deny your ability to have them and transport them and all those things. Now it makes it so you have to prove that your animal cannot be injurious anywhere in the United States in order to have the ability to have them. So it's a much more difficult process. It's very much impossible for the average person who loves a certain species to go through and make that argument. Who's to say that certain kinds of animals won't live in the very, very tip of Florida? That's Florida's job to be able to legislate what works for their state, not for the people in Alaska to no longer be able to keep those animals. And so it doesn't just affect ball pythons, it doesn't just affect reptiles, it affects all animals. They'd all have to be on this special designated list. And it's the hardest though for those of us in the fish and birds and reptiles and all these more uncommonly kept species. So the big question is what can you guys do? The main thing is it's already passed the House, it's in the Senate. The main thing is talk to your Congress people, ideally from your state, let them know how you feel about that. That's like, hey, listen, I support the legislation, I do not support that part, that needs to be taken out. That affects me, that affects my house, my livelihood, my hobbies, whatever way it affects you, tell them, tell them that it's a big overreach. And the other thing is to support US ARC. So US ARC is the lobby group for the reptile industry and it is super, super important. They're our voice to actually go and not just to talk to these congressmen and let them know what's at stake, but also to potentially litigate on the other side when things go wrong to help protect our rights. So I hope that you're a US ARC member. We're a big supporter of US ARC all along the way. And guys, this is crunch time. Every so often something like this pops up and it's a big, big threat to what we do, who we are, and to our rights here as Americans to keep these amazing animals and keep them legally and responsibly and not have them in French. Be sure to take a chance to read in the description. We're gonna have all the links where you can actually look at the details of this, not just my layperson's explanation. And be sure to support US ARC and call your Congress people. Support the future of the hobby, what you love, your animals, no matter what type they are, they're all under attack long-term by people who don't want you to keep them. So thanks for listening and we'll be back later this week with a new vlog.